Hey guys, uh, it's Carlos CDC back with the leather wallet review. Um, this is actually a card holder uh, made by Lost Touchman Leather. He's a cool guy here in uh, Arizona, Mesa actually. And he is currently sourcing all of his leathers in the US. Uh, so it's Wicked and Craig. This one's rusted, glazed. And yeah, I actually won this on a giveaway he made. So yeah, thank you very much. But I'm pretty sure this retails for $45 which is a very reasonable price. It is, uh, again, completely made here in the United States. Um, he makes it in Mesa, sources it from Wicker and Craig. So every single process on this wallet was here in the United States, which is pretty cool. So it's made extremely well, uh, very sturdy. It is guaranteed for life. Again, he used very good materials. The, thread, the threading is really nice. It is small, it is minimalist. Um, if you compare it to his Casey model, um, it's about the same size. This is actually, if you look at the squares, each one's half inch. This is actually three and three point seven five by two point six, which is a really small wallet. And you can see it right next to the Casey here. Uh, this is the the Ren by Benjamin Bot. If you own that, and this is the Buffalo, which is kind of my favorite wallet right now, by uh, Lotus and Lane. And it's a very high capacity small card holder. It can carry up to 10 or 11 cards. I don't carry that many cards with me. I carry about five, but when you put them inside, it doesn't shake or rattle, um, which is nice. It, um, this little flap here makes it really secure. Uh, so you have to do this to get them out. And in your pocket, that's just not gonna happen. Um, so yeah, it makes the, your cards very secure. It's just a really nice looking wallet. The, the leather feels extremely smooth. The logo of the maker is really deep in there and it's really classy. It's actually something he does uh, did recently uh, with the Casey that I bought a while back. It doesn't have that. This used to be blue, but it patina black. And this green used to be more like that green. Oh, like that green kind of uh, but it patinaed really nice uh, this was without the logo now he has a LD down here and this one has lost, uh, lost Dutchman leather which makes sense it's a nice place to uh, put the logo so and the negatives um, it's a little bit thicker than most of my wallets uh, the KC is like half as thick um, the Ren is not half a stick but it's a lot thinner and the lotus and lane even with the button is probably it looks about the same but i can carry cash and cards in this one like you can carry cash here if you fold it uh, but this one you just have to fold it once which is kind of a nice thing if you're into wallets you know that folding it once is uh, always a plus uh, the inside of this leather feels rough but it's kind of cool it's really manly as a construction worker that's cool because a lot of my uh, you know holsters just feel like this they're unfinished it has no front pocket and so it's slow to deploy your money <laughs> Uh, like if you have to pull this and then you pull out your card um, it takes a lot it takes a little bit more than for example in the Casey where it has a front pocket you have an important card if you're out on vacation this matters to me because you're out on vacation you're buying a lot of food you're buying a lot of things and just pulling out the one card you're using on your trip um, just fast it's kind of cool um, the last one that I took on vacation was the Buffalo, which does have a outside pocket, and that's where I kept the the one card I kept using a lot, and I kept uh, everything else in here, uh, which is nice that the the Buffalo has uh, an outside pocket, and it's also kind of kind of sexy with the little you know line on there, and even the Ren has an outside pocket, which is something I missed when I moved to the Finnegan for a week. Um, it's not a deal breaker. Uh, it's just money, and you might as well, you know, not spend it all so fast.
but that's it on the negatives it's kind of thick and it has no front pocket again those are not deal breakers at all this is still a really minimalist really small really thin wallet uh, fits in your pocket it's good to go and you can just deploy uh, deploy you can just access your money uh, pretty quickly um, so it's ju I'm just nitpicking here because you know as a collector you have a lot of options uh, this is an option that I will keep on using and will be staying with me for a long long time and I do believe it's gonna last you know a lifetime for sure and yeah lost touch from another check it out uh, great maker he has a bunch of amazing models um, a bunch of really cool leathers that he sources from working Craig and it's really cool that he's just uh, an entrepreneur in Arizona you know making his way in the leather world and he's just making great great pieces these two are those two pieces this is just kind of my other wallet that I wanted to compare with and uh, yeah you guys have a great day thank you for watching the review this is just a freaking amazing piece of leather um, this is Horween, this is Horween, uh, but Wiccan and Craig is just, you know, I don't know, it just has a different feeling to it, and I, I get now why people collect leather, it's just, leather's just super cool, <laughs> the smell, the, the, the feel of it, the look, the patina over time, but yeah, go get, go check out Lost Dutchman Leather.